a police officer used my exaggeration to a homeless person because I was walking alone down Portland Road and I often lie to the homeless. Who doesn't? When you're walking alone. If you're a girl walking alone, don't you want street cred? Me too. Me too, girl. And I lie to the homeless. When I'm confronted and I make up stories, who doesn't? So a story of mine, I had a light shined in my home. I wasn't a fan. And I was walking down Portland Road. And there's a homeless person camped out under a bridge that says hell, Portland Road hell, really aggressive, you know, people like, like Seattle. And um, there's a girl and she's being nice, but she had a guy behind her. I'm not blaming her, but I told her a story. I weaved a story about how I was going to break a light bulb and smash up a house. And then I got home, went to sleep and I woke up and there's a police officer at my door. Right, Robert Gunn? Of Gun and Gun? I mean, if you're robbing me, you're surely not paying the homeless. You're funding a police department. So I understand your conundrum. It's not mine. And um, if we go to court again oh, with a lesbian judge, that's my story. I have never admitted guilt. The officer lied about her having an audio file. He's lied quite a bit. He had a hard on in his pants, probably because he thought he's going to fucking prosecute or execute me. I don't think so. It's my story, and if you don't want to be my um, lawyer, we'll move on. I have the money for it. Trust me. And um, if you want to be flipped like Plaid Pantry, get used to it. Uh, I don't think your health is very good, and I'm not interested in you at all. You're obviously British. I'm French and Slovene. And so if we need to move on from here, good. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it, and I always have. I've never, ever admitted guilt to anybody. And if your cop has an audio file, let him produce it. 